so basically, uh, as part of the CSI project, I was tasked with coming up with uh, a project that would teach creativity and uh, these innovation tools. I absolutely. I decided to use SketchUp because it's what I was comfortable with, and I think it's a great tool for uh, giving kids the ability to work three-dimensionally while working virtually. And there's a lot of trial and error and a lot of stuff that you have to figure out. Um, so Engineering Day uh, was nice enough to grab onto it. So this, the future phone, the smartphone challenge that was part of Engineering Day um, was originally written for SketchUp, to model something in SketchUp, uh, to create a 3D model, virtual model, of uh, a brand new device, um, keeping in mind form and function and, and what people are going to want down the road. So it was an engineering problem, and I originally intended for them to do it um, in SketchUp, but um, with the one-to-one -one in Georgia, or Fairfax, Fairfax sorry, uh, they, um, they didn't have laptops, they had iPads. And so Lucy uh, got right to work finding um, a substitution for SketchUp, a 3D modeling tool that worked uh, on one of these mobile devices. And so they came in with uh, two different tools. Um, I didn't teach them how to use this. I just said, here's two things that might work. So iSculptor uh, HD, uh, it's about five bucks. Um, so it's a, a pay app. But what you get is some really basic shapes uh, that have been modeled for you. So um, if you take, say, a, a cube, uh, you have the ability to go in and change certain things about that. So they give you this device and then you just carve away at it and make changes to it. And I changed this cube into, and if I can get back there fast enough I'll show you, uh, into a version of the phone. Um, and just to show you what's possible. Um, so here we go. So this, mine was very rudimentary. I I actually tried to set up a time to meet with these kids after I saw it at Engineering Day so they could teach me because I didn't have the patience to sit down and watch all the tutorials. But uh, schedules didn't jive and so I had to learn myself. Um, so I went out and I found a handful of tutorials and uh, taught myself how to model a little bit. And so this is a very basic, very rudimentary phone that started as a right. cute. Um, so the kids did some really cool stuff. They. I was very impressed with the fact that they they took the parameters and they didn't they weren't limited by the fact that they didn't have the tool they solved the problem they found another way of doing it and that's basically what being creative and being a complex thinker is all about so